He looks like my big toe. I'm glad you started doing faces. I think my rendering has improved. No, you don't think. You know your rendering has improved. What are you doing in my house? Okay, so my intros keep getting worse, but you know what's not getting worse? Your art. Today we're gonna to be checking out some of the most impressive art improvements on the internet, period. You guys can take a look at the art of these hard working individuals and embrace the motivation. So I've gone onto our Patreon Discord server and asked our beautiful patrons to put their work into this channel, basically a before and after, a few years apart, and I can take a look at their improvements. And it's a very gloomy day, but this, this will make us happy. <laughs> Seasonal depression, you can't get me. <laughs> okay, so right off the bat, we've got a lot. Like this doesn't end, it just, um, oh. Okay. Oh, 69 fire emojis. Nice. <laughs> Goodness, are you kidding me? These, uh, this makes me so happy. This is 2022 versus 2023. Are you kidding me? The improvement in the lighting and the clarity in the character's face. Are you kidding me? Oh, one year. Black one's from two years ago and the one on the right is very recent. And this person has been working on anatomy. And I think you can tell because the uh, first character's neck looked like a pencil and not just any pencil. It looked like the old master's prison shank. Fast forward and yep, I can tell you've been learning anatomy for sure an improvement. 2019 to 2022, three years. Okay, the first character's looking at me in a way that I do not appreciate. What were you thinking back then? What, what was going through your head here? But hey, we appreciate a person who doesn't run from their responsibilities and embraces their mistakes because Oh, this is so good. The rendering. Wow. Ewok. The first one's from 2020 and the second is from 2023. This looked like a toddler's drawing, but here like, oh, it's a huge improvement. And I think there's an important lesson here. Ewok says that when they first started, they were not sure what to practice. A lot of artists get told to just practice and put in the work, but you have to know what you're trying to practice. You have to be very specific. So in the case of Ewok, they worked on anatomy a bit, facial structure, proportions, etc. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta be focused. You gotta target your weaknesses. Oh my God, this is one year. This is one year. Oh, get out of here. That's crazy. That is so good. Wow, Cliffy. My first digital art in 2017. Wow. And three years later, boom, that's nuts. Okay, so that's 2021 versus 2023. You know what? Huge improvement in terms of your confidence. The way this character is rendered, I think is fantastic. There's nothing I would change about it, but you come back to here and you can tell that there was a little bit of hesitancy in terms of the anatomy, in terms of the shape of the face. So that's a great improvement. And also the colors, like so much more vibrant, fantastic. Oh my God. 2021. Oh, 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 oh. This is what jump scares me at the beginning of the videos. And then two years later, I mean, can you fault that? That's fantastic. You're kidding me. This is one year. What's going on? What kind of magic potions are you guys drinking? What? <laughs> What? Oh, I love that. So 2021, and this person points out the weaknesses and the flaws in their work. Fear of color, anatomy is a bit off, and random brush strokes, meaning there's probably pretty bad brush economy. And that's also something that I'm struggling with to this day. I love that. Huge improvement. And it's great that you started doing colors now. Yeah, next step, like you said, would be to try some backgrounds. That'll be fun for you. So this was 2021, two years ago, and that is 2023. The colors are fantastic. There's a great use of the complementaries here, the yellow and the purple. And I mean, you look back at the old one and what was going on with the nose, right? Looks like Squidward. The chin's just drooping down like melting ice cream. And there's so many things that you can tell that you're not 100% confident with. I mean, I can tell you put a lot of work into this study and you must have done a lot of studies to get to this place. So fantastic job. And the shine on the hair is, mwah. <laughs> oh my goodness, you monster. Three years ago, what is this? What is this? You drew a thumb. He looks like my big toe. I'm glad you started doing faces. You know, something else that got a lot better is your line art compared to before. I mean, Jesus Christ. You guys know what I love the most? Growth and character development. And this shows it, okay? Facing your responsibilities. <laughs> see what I, see what I, it's because there's, there wasn't a, there's no face, but there's, that's why it's like facing your, Okay. Okay. So this one is from December, 2021, and that's from January, 2023. So a year and maybe a couple months, but good Lord. I mean, there's just so much improvement in the facial structure of your character. Like going back before her left eye was basically falling off of her face and it there was no perspective to it. But then you come to this one. Look at that. That's improvement. That's 
Well, look at that. We got an environment piece 2022. Wow, this was a year ago. You can tell what it is, but it looks more abstract than it is realistic. Are you kidding me? This is a year later and you've that's crazy. You can see the rim lighting on the tree trunks. You can see how the light of the spirits is affecting its environment. I love that. I love seeing that. And that's a huge improvement right there. Wow. 2020 versus 2023. That's wow. You were very good back in 2020. I mean, that's a very effective stylization of this character. But then you look at 2023. You have developed your style so much and there's so much more confidence, you know, in terms of the colors, in terms of the saturation and the contrast. Wow, started drawing in September, 2022. So it's only been six months. I mean, that's pretty good for first starting. And that's now amazing. The emotion in the cat's face. <laughs> oh man, this is a year ago versus now. There's so much more purpose to the uh, lighting here. Everything interacts in the environment. You can see the lighting from the light on her face. You can see the glow from that light in the background. Whereas you look at before, the lighting doesn't really affect anything in the environment too directly and everything looks kind of flat. My goodness, you've definitely overcome that. All right, so this one was from 2020 and that is from now i mean the improvement in that is insane the amount of line confidence that you have now and also <laughs> the fact that you added eyebrows <laughs> it's so nice of you to do that um but i do have one concern what is going on down here what is look do we need to have a talk go in the corner right now face the wall and think about what you've done you're on timeout wow 2020 and 2023 oh i mean that's a great sketch you were great back then too but <laughs> You made him extra beautiful. Look at his eyes. Look at his jawline. Look at his bowl cut. What a beautiful man. Two years ago versus now. I mean, the her jawline could probably use a bit of tweaking, but hey, improvement is improvement. Like, look at that versus that. Just look at the nose on this guy. It's in the shape of an L. I mean, that's super fitting. In two years time, I'd say that's great. Oh my. Try to improve body proportion, stylization, and more dramatic lighting. Well, you've done that for sure. That's a year's difference. I just love the rim lighting. Your very first digital piece in 2019. And are you guys ready for this? 2023. Not only is she shooting fire from her hand, but the lighting from the fire is affecting the character in the right way. Look at the lighting on the front of the arm, on the bottom facing planes of the face, on the dress. I think my rendering has improved. No, you don't think you know your rendering has improved. One year between these two paintings, and you know what I like the most about this? The fact that your lighting has improved so much. I mean, you can see where the light is coming from here, but it's not affecting her face. But then you go to the other one and look at how the light affects the entire character. The foreshortening on the hand, that looks great. You gotta be kidding me. One year later, you out of your mind. Is that Elsa? That's a cool looking OC. I love that. June 2021 versus March 2023. So I want you to keep your eye on this piece. Then two years later, don't, don't take your eyes off it. Oh my God, the shape language in this piece, the confidence here. How did you do this in two years? Look, after this video, I want you to send me a message. Look, I want you to tell me your secrets. I won't tell anybody else. 2021, 2020. <laughs> Why'd you do that? You absolutely wild. Speaking of wild, my God, you guys. Okay, so you've been doing this from the beginning. One year ago, okay. Huge improvement in the... Um, the lighting here, the rim light from the explosion in the back. That's fantastic. How do you guys do this in one year? You guys are insane. I don't know about you guys watching this video right now, but I'm inspired. I want to see this in my art in a year. So this was from a year ago and this is from now. That's a humongous improvement in terms of the lighting, in terms of your colors. Not only that, you got her expression down too. That looks great. In the old piece, she looked dead. Oh, my heart. I can't take this. This is from 2020. And that's now. I love that. The hair render on this is so good. Compare that to the one before. I mean, the shape of the face, the rendering on the hair, and the lighting too. That's something I see in my nightmares. This is a sleep paralysis demon. Wow, okay, a year ago. Now, I barely even finished most of my pieces when I started. And honestly, that's such a common thing that a lot of people go through. And for me too, like when I started drawing, I used to just draw for myself in my sketchbook. And before I finish one piece, I always want to move on to the next. That's just something that happens, honestly. It, it is what it is. But you should hold yourself accountable every once in a while and try to finish a piece. All right, two years ago versus now. I love the perspective in this piece. And you've picked such a challenging angle to draw the face at. And I think you did a good job at it. 
this angle for the face is so tough. I don't know if you guys have tried this before, but I highly recommend you try it. Because trust me, you get one small thing wrong here, your character looks like a toe. Tanjiro, no. <laughs> Great, I love the rendering. You've definitely improved in terms of your rendering. Your ju lips are kind of juicy, huh? What's going on? Get out of here, September 2021. Only doing sketches, didn't really know how colors work versus now. Okay, you definitely know how colors work now because that's amazing. Look at this blue on the hair. You've even got the ambient light from the sky now. And this is from not knowing how to do colors like two years ago. Amazing. So good, so good. And the structure of the face too, are you kidding me? Look at the, oh, what's going on? That's really unfortunate, but <laughs> wow. Ooh. First one is from 2015. So that's about eight years ago. And that's now, I mean, that's in insane. Like this drawing now is insane. These drawings don't even look like they were done by the same people. This is a huge improvement. And here in the description, I think there's a really valuable lesson for us. They've said that I was not consistent because there were years where I barely drew, but it was more about persistency. And that's a great point. Consistency is great but it takes a lot of discipline. And for anybody watching this video, there will be times where you just don't draw as much as you would like to, and it will cause a break in your consistency and it'll be really demoralizing. But man, if you stay with it, look at this eight year improvement. If you just stick with it, you bounce back after that period of not drawing, and that's called being persistent. Even if you don't have perfect consistency, you get back up every time you get knocked down. That's inspiration. As Master Wu Gui once said, quit. Don't quit. Oh my, 2020, 2022, you changed ethnicities. Hang on, this is so cool. 2020 versus 2023, same character, three years difference. Okay, so I like this one a lot because this is a very different style from what we're used to seeing. The lines in this piece, that's insane. No way, this is a year apart after I started watching some artists on YouTube, including Sam. Who's that? Never heard of him. That's a lot of hard work right there. I can definitely see the amount of effort that you've put in. Like to get from this point to this point, you are absolutely wild. And look, I tell people to put their work in this channel and you guys are just chatting like it's a normal channel. Well, you know what? You know what we do in this case? Uh, we're gonna just ban 2020 versus 2022. Wow, stopped running away from background responsibilities and started suffering. That's, that's what I like to see. One year apart, haven't improved the most, but I'd say there's noticeable progress. Are you kidding me? There, Of course there is. Dude, the first one, okay, the first one's good, but the second one looks like a photograph. How did you do, what? Been working on drawing faces over the past months. Left is from October, so it hasn't been that long, but you can see a huge leap in the confidence in these portraits. I love how your lines have become simpler and less chicken scratchy. And speaking of lines, we'll be doing a tutorial on that in April. So be sure to check out my Patreon page for that because this video is not sponsored. It's only sponsored by myself. 2020 was a year I started drawing. You're nuts. The fact that you started with this is like already super impressive, but then you <laughs> you jumped to this in three years. Wow, three years ago, so many people first started drawing in 2020. And I love that for you guys. Picking up a new hobby during these troubling times. Wow. Can I just say the improvement is great. First one's from two years ago. And there's your art now, which is, in the, wow. The stylization on this is so good. I can definitely tell over the past couple of years, you've worked on your own artistic voice. You've found something that you really gravitate towards. And it's a huge, huge leap from where you first started. Started doing art in January, 2021. And the second one is from now. Oh. I'm curious, how much did you draw during this time frame? How much did you practice? Because this a level of improvement is insane. I mean, this is just, a, there's nothing wrong with it. It's such a fantastic anime stylization of a character in a realistic rendering style. Just, what? All of that in two years? Like so many of you guys are doing so much in two years. It's insane. I got to step up my game. One year's difference. Moist esports. Okay. All right. I'm not going to ask, but that's wild. This is wild. Okay, so I hope you guys are as inspired as I am because some of these people on my Patreon Discord server are nuts. For everybody out there who's working hard to grow and improve as an artist, I admire you guys and I appreciate you guys for inspiring me and so many other people out there. Please keep up the good work. And if you're somebody who's like looking at your own art right now and you're seeing these people's improvement and you're like, how? It's tons of hard work and setting goals and targeted practice. So if there's something in your work that you feel like you can improve on, I want you to set a goal 
to work on that. You want to target things one at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't try to absorb too much at once, but instead take it one step at a time. And that kind of improvement can also happen to you. Talent itself can only get you so far. It's about the amount of hard work and the type of work that you put in. Share this video with your friends who need a bit of motivation. Click that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this in the future. And I'll see you on the next video. <sighs> That's it. That's it. There's no blooper reel for this video. <laughs> We're done. That's it. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> Ooh, you hear that? That was my back. That was my spine. It's a, it's a spinal. Ooh, you gotta stretch, guys. You gotta stretch. <laughs>